Right, so I'll, uh, I'll show the data that I got from GPT-4 to do with all the economy, right? Um, so the examples, it kind of touches on some, well, it's almost declaring these uh, variables as you'll see in the next one. But this is interesting and it's telling you how to do it essentially, man. Um, Maximise W well-being subject to the constraints imposed by the variables, but then it's giving you advice on how to do that. <laughs> and th I mean, it's a great template to go further and deeper. Start incorporating. Uh, the values and it did give the values in its descriptions um, and I can show you that actually because I, I had to grab all I had to grab all this I mean this is essentially the numbers that you want to then get in to these formulas uh, and it, I mean it was so thorough it was so thorough um, I believe there was a comment about to find that then. Seriously. What do I need to do? To find that. It actually specified how much money was actually going towards like the war on drugs in the UK like this year and it was over 40 billion, right? That's crazy money to to be pouring into something that's, that's pretty futile, you know, and that's been proven over the years. But anyway, uh, that will be in one of the other uh, runs I did, but I'll pull that, it'll probably be in the first one. Uh, but yeah, this is essentially like a, quite a damning review actually, and it uh, got even quite predictive on what's going to happen uh, in the near future, uh, just through forecast and reading data, uh, mainly from the Bank of England. Um, but I've not went time to go through this to highlight key points, and there's because there's quite a few of them anyway. Um, but yeah, um, so baseline stuff to go on, even to feed the e AI more, go deeper. Um, Put this in here. See, and you know, my point with this is how things are set up currently, it doesn't matter how much you <laughs> earn or, you know, you get your raise, raise it's, you're always earning less over time. And that's just not sustainable. It's like fake inflation. Uh, right, so I'll get rid of that one. Yeah, you know, saying how much is going to go up. Like this year, I believe. Wait, I don't know. Twenty twenty six, one million households increase five hundred a month. So just further kind of um, data that I'll, I'll need to put into this document because I'm collating all that. Because so all of this data has essentially got the numbers to give um, the AI back to then really start going up like more comp but basically complex as complex as you need to be for um, an economy. Yeah, this is when it started to like that. <laughs> 
big time hallucination with this one because like I just didn't tell it to do any code at all. It was all written tasks essentially, but for some reason it started to build a system to essentially do all the math as well, which was interesting, but not what I was looking for it to do initially, but I'll probably revisit this. Um, for lower text, for the document. Other just review aspects, like live commentary almost. Um, That's an interesting percentage. <laughs> that's see that percentage, right? That's like everybody that works, or you could argue the working class. You know, it's just basically the percentage that doesn't include people that are not working or the super wealthy. Um, it's basically everybody else that kind of works <laughs> for them <laughs> in a way. So yeah, it's given us more kind of uh, formulas to work with. Um, regression analysis, which coincidentally enough is something that's a part of uh, the old GT GPT benchmark that I am participating in, albeit sparingly. Yeah, and I guarantee this is going to prove to be a lot more prosperous and profitable than the war on drugs. Interesting, though. Great template baseline to work from as well. Um, again, the numbers are, 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 are all in here. And you could ask it to pull any numbers almost actually, uh, even if any are missing. Yeah, so we could even build the models to do the math as well, but I mean GPT would do that anyway if you just presented the data in the correct format. Oh, it's just basic how it's currently working. Okay, it's repeated that for some reason. Okay, more data. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. No, it needs to be more, it needs to be fair, fair. No group should. face a burden more than so it's suggesting that that is a problem for equality okay yeah education definitely <laughs> controls regulatory body mm. 
regulatory bodies always seem to turn into lobbyists. So. Yeah, more tax brackets, definitely, man. I, there's definitely a gap with that between um, like the one two six L to the next one. I think it's like, is it forty thousand in Scotland? It's, yeah, this it's could definitely be more tax brackets. See, I'm up for variable aspects to that, but I need to theory craft a bit more. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the AI thinks I'm... <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. It thinks our drug regulations are punitive measures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, renewable, blah blah blah. We preserve community basis initiatives. Yeah, man, did to go back to that. Why they ever disrupted that? It's crazy. So as you can see. Pretty, um, pretty thorough. Um, well, it does say, uh, you know, it's more complex, and this is kind of like, you know, just a yeah, a baseline, which it is. Uh, but it's in in the review data that it presents to you while it's thinking. I mean, it gives you all the numbers anyway. So um, I'll get this into a PDF, get it back in as a as a file for analysis. Um, and obviously explaining that, that there's the numbers are in here. I'll do that uh, probably. I don't know. I need to check where my OpenAI bill is because it's quite expensive just now. So I need oh, nothing. We need to pay it. But um, yeah, I'm telling you, this is a uh, pretty huge. I feel anyway. Imagine how much you'd pay someone to give you this kind of analysis. <laughs> Just to say, right, give me this kind of report on my desk. Anyway, that's that. <laughs>